Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our partner 59. Inside this video, we will see the concept of route model binding. In the last video, we had completed all about our authentication chapters as well as in the last video, we had discussed the stub concept. Now this time, we will start route model binding. So back to editor. So first of all, we need to create a model, a migration, a controller and a simple route to understand about the complete concept of route model binding. So back to terminal, close this development server and before creating any model, any migration, if I back to our database and here as we can see that these are the tables and their associated migrations exist in our setup. So database and migrations and these are the migration files. So let's say that we are going to create a students table inside this database and we will create a student migration as well as a student model. So back to terminal. So php artisan let's say make model and we are going to create a student model keep in mind in the last video we had discussed that the name of the model should be singular and the name of the table inside our database should be plural so here we have the command to create the model but if we want to create like migration along with this command so simply we need to pass minus m as a flag so if i copy this command copy that back to slide open a new tab so simply this is the command we are going to run php artisan make model this is the model name and minus m for the migration file so back to terminal pressing enter so model created successfully and here it is creating migration file So successfully now, this command has generated two different files. So back to editor, reload this migrations folder and here we have a student's migration file. So now, inside this student's table right now we have three columns like for the ID and the timestamps column like created at and updated at. Let's say that we need or we want to add two more columns like let's say raw ID and name. So for that let's say table inside this we have a integer column means data type equals to int and the column name we have let's say roll ID. Now we want to add one more column let's say it is type of varchar means it will store a string value and the name of the column equals to name and the length equals to 120 characters. Now inside this students table we don't want our time stamps value. It means we don't want all about created at and updated at. So for that simply we need to remove that and back to our model because we need to tell our model that we don't want time stamps values. So go to models student and here inside this, let's say public timestamps equals to false. So these are the simple steps we need to do. Now all we have set, we have created a table. Inside that table, we have three different columns, ID, role ID and name. So now next, we need to migrate back to terminal. Let's say PHP artisan migrate. This command is going to run all the pending migrations. So pressing enter. So now students table successfully migrated inside our database. So if I go here, click on a structure. Now inside this database we have a new table called students. So if I click on that, go to a structure. So inside this table we have role ID and name. So let's do some like a dummy entry from this PHP my admin manual tool by clicking on this insert tab. So let's say role ID equals to 11 and the name value of this student I'm going to pass my name 
insert let's say 12 this is the second student click on insert roll number 13 now if I do some zoom here this is the third student value click on insert why we are inserting value we will understand in a second so 14 this is the name of the student insert let's roll ID 16 and here we have this value so click on go click on browse now inside this table we have some dummy entries of roll ID and the student name value so all the things we have set we have created a model a table and a migration file so back to editor now let's close the file of this migration and the model go inside this routes folder open about our main configuration for routes called web.php and inside this file I will add a route called route here we will use get method let's say student and inside this student route we are going to pass student ID so let's say student ID and here we are going to make or create a closer route which is going to contain an anonymous function so here inside this function if we write for now let's say echo or simply let's say return this is page now if I back to browser first of all we need to start our development server so php artisan serve development server is started back to browser reload this page and if I type the route what we have created called student and this is the student ID what we are passing so this is the page and this is the static message what actually we had written inside our route so back to editor now we are going to start the concept of route model binding so here this is a route now inside this route we are going to bind our model so that's why we have created a student model keep in mind the student model points this student model points our students table and the students table have some data what we have inserted so back to this route and here inside this function we are going to pass a student object so here we have a student instance and this is type of the model of this student so here as we can see that we are imported student model here and we have created an instance but here we have a red color error so first of all we need to import inside this web.php so let's say use app models student save these changes red color has gone now if we go and pass this student ID inside our URL go here reload this page and again we are getting the same output it means we have no error so back to editor now this time what I will do returning means instead of returning this simple static message this time I am to return this student instance keep in mind this is the instance of a student model and this model is binded towards this route and inside this route we are passing this student ID so back to browser go and reload this page and here as we can see that we are getting a student object inside this object we have the ID equals to 5 role ID equals to 16 and the name value of this student equals to Digant so here again if you go and keep in mind this ID value it means what we have passed here called student as a key this student key indicates all about this ID column so if we pass let's say the second value hit enter and this is the second student object so this is the concept of route model binding now let's say that we want to fetch this role ID or name from this object 
So what I will do, simply let's say student and we want the name value. So student arrow operator and name. So go and reload this page and as we can see that we have the name of the student. Again if we go and let's say that if we pass this to role underscore id go and reload this page this is the role id of that student now let's say that we don't want to use this id what we have passed here to this id column it means we want to search a student on the behalf of this of this role id all is on the behalf of this name value so first of all let's see all about by the help of this role id so what i will do go here and inside this route inside this key we need to tell that we are going to key or let's say we are going to use the role id of our students table so passing colon here and let's say role id so here we are mapping our column name means column name of our table with this route so if we save all these changes go and reload this page so this time we are getting 404 not found it means this 2 has no entry inside this role id so instead of 2 if we pass the 12 value and the 12 value exists for this second number student so go and reload this page and as we can see that this is the role id value so instead of getting only role id if i print all of the student instance value go here reload this page and as we can see that this is the output if we want to search with the help of this name column simply we need to put here as a name key so this is all about route and model binding but this is by the help of closer route if we want to achieve the same task by the help of controller so how can we achieve let's create a controller close this development server php artisan let's say make controller and we are going to create a student controller so pressing enter controller created successfully back to editor and here inside this directory structure go inside this app folder http controllers and here we have a student controller so let's say that inside this student controller we are going to create a index method and inside this index method first of all we need to import our student model so use student model and inside this index method let's say student and here we have the student instance now if I return let's return student now we need to bind this method here with, with this route so next instead of using this app model students we need to import our controller so use student controller go here and instead of using this anonymous function I'm going to remove that putting a comma here defining an array let's say student controller it's a class and inside this we are using index method now if we save all these changes get rid of this role id we are passing the id value so let's remove and pass 1 and here actually development server has been not started so php artisan serve pressing enter go and hit enter and we are getting the first student value now this time this concept we have achieved by using this means route controller and the model here so this is all about the concept guys route model binding so in the next video we will see some more different concepts so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day